Middle Tennessee and Western Kentucky appear to be headed to the MAC. The presidents of those schools are having a meeting. It is basically a formality. They're going to have a vote. It's going to be unanimous, and they are going to add Middle Tennessee and Western Kentucky to the MAC conference. And those are the only two schools from CUSA that really fit that footprint anyway. Uh, I like it. I think it's a good fit. Uh, I think it definitely helps the football brand for sure. Uh, Along with that, now we're looking at Conference USA, and there are reports that Conference USA is going to add UConn, New Mexico State, and Liberty to Conference USA, along with bringing up Jacksonville State from FCS to FBS and somebody else. I can't remember who exactly the other team was. But but you, you toss in those along with – these are the four that are left in Conference USA, by the way. Louisiana Tech, UTEP, Old Dominion, and Florida International. And there's talk about Old Dominion joining with James Madison to go to the Sun Belt. And now, I don't know that that's going to happen. That would put the Sun Belt at 14 teams. We'll see. I mean, obviously, there was talk about that early, and then it kind of died off a little bit. But – and this looked like the death knell for Conference USA, and now it looks like Conference USA is just going to bring up some FCS teams to FBS, and instead of 130 teams, we're going to have, I mean, maybe up to 135, 140 teams in FBS, like teams from FCS that want to jump up. I I don't know what I what I think about this. You you got any thoughts on on the whole situation? No, I don't care. None of these schools move the needle for me at all. The only thing that, that's cool about this is, is Maction gets to come basically to the Nashville area with Murfreesboro. That's like, like uh, you, Nashville, the reason Nashville has become the boom that it is, is it is still a big part of the South and the Southern culture, but it is so close to the Midwest and the rest of the Midwest teams. It, it just fits, it just fits in this perfect little, little bubble. And Murfreesboro being basically a suburb of Nashville, I, I think that that could help with a little recruiting, with a little draw, you know, stuff like that. So, at well, and Bowling Green, of course, not that far from uh, from Nashville either. So, well, uh, Bowling Green's a couple hours though, right? Bowling Green's not yeah. like down the road. I think Murfreesboro is like forty five minutes. I mean, it's it's basically from my house to Memphis. It's Bowling Bowling, is Bowling Green close. is closer to Nashville than Jackson, Tennessee. So it's it's about oh, an hour and a half. Yeah. Right? So yeah, yeah, no. So nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, Clarksville is about forty-five minutes northeast or northwest of Nashville. Uh, Bowling Green is north uh, east, and yeah, around, around about an hour and a half or so. So, it, but yes, it helps. Like it, it gets that Nashville market in. So the Mac. I mean, I'm cheers to that. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Could be very interesting. Make up some some different rivalries that we have not seen. Uh, before, so I'm, I'm kind of pumped about it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.